2024 and I thank God for making it to the new year uh, I am it is uh, almost 8 30 this January 1st morning I just got off of work my overnight and I am on my way home to snuggle with my boys it's crazy how, I mean, I just saw them yesterday and I miss them so much. And this is the first, this was the first year that I did not go into the new year with my family. This is the first time ever that I had to work. Well, that, that I can remember that I, I had to work on the new, you know, going, going into the new year. And already at 8 o'clock this morning, the boys were already up texting me, asking me for things. And it's like, okay, let's get this day started. So I'm on my way home from work. I just pray for a lot more positive vibes this year. I pray for just businesses to work out, whether it's for me or for you. I pray that into our lives. I pray for an abundance of wealth and health and love and prosperity. I know it probably sounds like a greeting card or something, but you know what? You're supposed to pray for what you want. And I want all of that. I want my new business venture with my sister to prosper I don't want us to ever have to worry about where our next deal is going to come from where our next check is going to come from I just want an abundance of wealth and customers and deals and projects and whatever we lay our hands on will good for our family and our for our businesses so mama joe the lady that i care for she will be 99 years old february 3rd and that is a blessing in itself but i just feel like people when they certain people when they get to that age they're just not happy about making it to that age because I guess you know at that point you need a with some you need a lot more help and a lot a lot more hands-on you know and some people don't like that you know and they're they're saying what a life to live but you know what to live to, to to be almost 100 years old you know it's a blessing because I'm pretty sure when you turn on the news today by being January 1st 2024 you're going to see some people did not make it to 2024 you know and that is sad that's sad I know it's just another day but you know some people didn't make it some people didn't make it but the ones that did we should stay prayerful and you know just try to make it to the next day I pray that my marriage becomes stronger. I pray that just, you know, our relationship is much better. Me and Mr. Ojo. I pray that my children just get it. 
just understand that things are just not handed to you. You have to work hard to get what it is that you want or need in life. Most times things are never just handed to you. And because I do that for them now, I mean, I messed up somewhere, but I think it was because of my own upbringing that, you know, I definitely saw that my parents work extremely hard just to have, or, you know, just to have the bare minimum. And I always, I guess since that was always in the back of my mind, you know, if my kids ever wanted anything, not necessarily needed anything. If they wanted anything, then I wanted to give it to them. I wanted to make sure that they had it. <laughs> and that was not the best, but it was because I didn't, I didn't get everything that I always asked for. So I did it for my kids and that turned out to be the worst thing to do. <laughs> that turned out to, do, to be the worst thing to do because these kids nowadays, they definitely think that everything is owed to them and because they're minors and we're supposed to do whatever we're, you know, give them whatever they want. And it's like, um, grow up and get a job and see how hard it actually is, sir or madam, because, huh. My little paycheck is definitely being stretched by that five loaves and what was it two loaves and five fish or five two fish and five loaves? I can't remember what it is, but I tell you, my little money be stretched. But I thank God that I'm able to do what I've been able to do all these years. But this year. I'm not making any resolutions because I don't want to promise myself to do some stuff and then, you know, it was never my intention to do it in the first place. So why even go there, you know? So I'm just going to be going with the flow and just live my life day to day and just try to make the best decisions for my life and for my children's lives and for you know for my business sake for work you know I just want to live day to day and make the best choices that I think would be the best choice if I feel like working out then I'll work out if I don't feel like working out then I won't um, if I decide to have a salad one day and some fried chicken the next, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to make sure, is that really what I want to do or is that really what I need to do? But I'm not going to be so hard on myself. I'm not. If the weight comes off, the weight comes off. But I ain't trying to put none back on. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me with that. I don't want to put no more weight on. Lord, I pray that I lose weight this year and on and I don't want to put on no more weight I don't want to put on no more weight so anyway I just wanted to talk to y'all and say hi and get these vlogs started. I am I'm not going to be pressed about a niche on my YouTube channel. I'ma just come with whatever it is that I got. And it's either you're gonna accept me or you're gonna accept me. Because I accept everybody as they are. I truly do. And so I'm just hoping for the same. Let's grow together this year. 
let's get these numbers up on my YouTube channel because I feel like okay City Trends got a real sign this time after all these years oh sorry um yeah let's grow this channel much faster much faster because if people can make ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month from social media and ha not have to work for somebody else, come on, we can all do this. We can all support each other. I'm down if you down. Anyway, if you want to see more of my content please make sure you hit the post notification bell. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like, share, and comment. You know, do all that good stuff to let me know you rocking with me. Either way it goes, I appreciate you for watching and I pray over all our lives. I just thank you guys for watching me and rocking with me. I appreciate you so very much. You guys have a fabulous year. Bye.